Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to What The Bat Overview. I just looked up the studio and apparently their whole thing is What The Bat Things related. Like the whole company is called What The Games. <laughs> it seems to be a sequel of What The Golf. I don't know if it released for VR unless it was before Quest Time. At this point it's a franchise so let's see what they are cooking. <laughs> so What The Bat is a comedy adventure simulator game where, long story short, you do everything with bats as your hands. Whether it's eating, brushing your teeth, punch a child, drive the car, whatever you can actually do and not do, you do it with bats. The concept overall, however silly it is, is pretty fun by default, so this overview will come down to the mechanics and physics. It's like a dynamic job simulator with funny stuff, compiling multiple mini games across the whole world to essentially tickle your bat. I like the whole branding, like there's a dedicated soundtrack, theme song, funny jokes related to bats. The developers are either crazy or they know what they're doing, or both, which I can appreciate, like do whatever pleases you. If there's a strong vision and the execution is good then that's the key to success in my eyes. The comedy should be fairly easy to understand because it's not necessarily hard on the brain or you really need to think about stuff. It's meant to be relaxing and take your head from whatever is going on in the real life. This is definitely not gonna be a baseball game so let's just find out what the bat. <laughs> Every game seems to be today starting just like they want. Okay. <laughs> so this is actually a baseball game. Okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I imagined this game being just pure chaos. It's like instinctively I'm just doing things and punching. Oh. No. I'm clearly a child. No, come back. Get in. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm pressing. No, that's settings. <laughs> But everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Excuse me? 
This is actually not that easy. Oh my god. I'm struggling. <laughs> This is actually not funny. <laughs> okay. Let's do one more. I pretty much know the gist of it. Let's do all the way. <laughs> I wonder if it is oh, <laughs> advertised for kids because some stuff might not be that easy. But it's definitely. One of a kind. What the? You go by intuition. Can't actually stop. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Smash that. What? Okay, that's a good one to stop because you just continue. Oh, <laughs> doing stuff. Um, uh, that's creepy. <laughs> Overall, the game is as chaotic as I expected it to be. Though it's weirdly addicting, like you just keep going, not thinking about the time and just smashing stuff. Everything seems to be working properly. It's simple and as well, sometimes you have to think about solutions. It's one of those that can be literally for everyone and the comedy is actually on a very nice level. If we're gonna do a playthrough of it, I mean, I have literally too many stuff to do, so... It's good nonetheless. Get out. <laughs> <laughs>